Сорокин. Well, let's get you in there, then. You aren't going anywhere, and neither am I. Take the time and get this right. From what I hear, you ain't leaving us anytime soon. We're gonna need a fair record of you. Tell me everything except that you're innocent. I'd find that hard to believe. Quite a record we'll have on you. You're lucky you were caught, you know. The way the town feels about what happened, you were likely to be shot. It's a process, all right, but a necessary one. How you doing with that? Okay, then. Yep. We pulled the wrong one of you? Okay, you, head through there.
Go and get your picture took. Place your palms by your chest now for me. Jackson! Officer Jackson, move those prisoners! Officer Payton! Kitchen's aid staff! Officer Townsend, those rocks ain't gonna break themselves! What are you standing there for? Get moving! What are you looking at? Go on! Get moving! You! You! You with the hammer! And you, you'll do. We need to perform a work detail out in Valentine. Come on, get in. Open the gate. Come on, Milliken. I tell you what, old Jameson is a wretched, sour old bastard, and no mistake. You lot stay calm in there. You aren't saying nothing. Well, you are now. Shut up. You know, my wife has acquired ideas significantly above her station. She's been reading too many goddamn books. Personally, I'm against education. Of women, I mean. And men, I guess. Unnecessary doesn't add much to the world. Education. Good day, gentlemen. Oh. Don't do anything stupid. Nobody gets shot. Act like fools, and the pair of you will be dead within a minute. Now, what are your names? Jenkins and Milliken. Well, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken. Throw your guns to the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. You boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. Let them out. Now, please. Okay. Okay. You all run away. Aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. This is a stroke of good fortune for all of you. Use it. Now, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, be so kind as to uh, quickly run away before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. Mr. Wendt, I believe it was $50 we agreed on. It was. Here's 50 each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. Now, sir, how about you pick up these guns and we move out? My mistress is waiting for us. Come along. Then you better get on this horse. Get to grips with the beast, and then we'll ride. I just hope no one shows up.
Yeah, we ought to get out of here before the alarm is raised. Not much of an animal, but they haven't got far to ride. I'll be patient with you. Come back. Come back here, get this horse. Ready? Wonderful. I hope you'll forgive the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. My name is Mr. Horley, by the way. Six months at Sisica Penitentiary, awaiting a hanging for a murder you did not commit. Must have felt a whole lot longer, my friend. You still seem strong, though. I mean, doesn't look like breaking all those rocks have left you entirely broken, in body or in spirit. I hope I am right about that. Rounding you folks up in those sham trials, they were a disgrace. Made a mockery of the rule of law. Still can't quite believe they got away with it. There's others convicted when you were. Came out breathing fire. Maybe you're like that too. Guess we'll see. Or maybe you just want to put it all behind you. Forget you were in there at all. That would be fine, of course. But you will listen to my mistress first. She spent a good sum getting you folks out. You owe her an audience, at least. You've been away for so we'll help you get set up in the world. Hey, back here, please. 